All right, Aaron, thank you. It is a murder case that has the eyes of the nation watching, and now police are announcing they have made an arrest. On November 13th, four college students from the University of Idaho were found stabbed to death at a rental home on campus in the city of Moscow. 28-year-old Brian Christopher Kohlberger was captured yesterday in Pennsylvania, charged with four counts of first-degree murder. Here's NBC's Dana Griffin with more. Police announcing they have the man they believe killed four college students. We have an individual in custody who committed these um, horrible crimes. 28-year-old Brian Christopher Kohlberger was taken into custody Friday morning in Monroe County, Pennsylvania, charged with four counts of first-degree murder. DNA evidence played a key role in linking the murders to Kohlberger. Two law enforcement sources familiar with the investigation told NBC News. His white Hyundai Elantra, the biggest public clue in the case so far, was also removed from the suspect's home, police said. The arrest comes the same day crews started cleaning out the six-bedroom rental home where Kaylee Gonzalez, Madison Mogan, Ethan Chapin, and Zana Carnoto were found murdered November 13th. Autopsy showed all four were likely asleep when they were attacked. Some had defensive wounds and each was stabbed multiple times. Two other roommates were home at the time of the slayings, but police say they were not involved. This case has drawn national attention from internet sleuths who speculated about potential suspects and motives, leading police to over 19,000 tips while dispelling unfounded claims on social media. Police vowing this case would not go cold. These murders have shaken our community and no arrest will ever bring back these young students. However, we do believe justice will be found through the criminal process. Kohlberger is listed as a PhD student in the Department of Criminal Justice and Criminology at Washington State University, a short drive across the state line from the University of Idaho. Today, investigators revealed they have not found the murder weapon and why they were tight-lipped on information. Providing any details in this criminal investigation might have tainted the upcoming criminal prosecution or alerted the suspect of our progress. One of the missing pieces to the puzzle, his motive.